1997 was a turning point for the honeybee network. At an international conference organized by the IIM in Ahmedabad to showcase rural creativity, Honeybee presented some of its best innovations. Policy makers and government officials were invited, as was Amrit Bhai. मैंने ये अधिवेशन में इतना मटे बोला वेलो ये मारु जे संशोधन तो आरोनी बढ़त गाड़ी आप बढ़त गाड़ा ने जेक अधिवेशन में अवनार लोगों के जे आवश्यक तो ना लोग आवेला हो मंत्री आवेला हो अने विज्ञापन खेलो तो आवेला हो अने जानकारी मढ़े अने आवश्यक तो ना लोगों आना मटे के प्रयत्न करे के आ संशोधन लोग Gujarat government officials liked what they saw. The Gujarat Grassroots Innovation Augmentation Network, Gyan, was set up in 1998. And the network now had the ability to develop innovations into commercially viable products. The government put in 45 lakh rupees, or close to $90,000, into Gyan. <laughs> एक बार ये लोगों आ संसदों को में गामड़ाओं में थी अन्य विज्ञान विस्तार में भी शोधे से एक अच्छे ज्ञान के में थी एवं संसदों को पसंद करे से कि जनाव पर व्यापारिक संभव ना हो होए अब संसदों में ज्ञान के में भी शोधी ने यह पची के ने उद्योग अन्य साहसिक का साथे सांकलवान काम करे ज्ञान आ कार्य म Around the same time, Mansuk Patel of Viramgaon village was working in a cotton factory in Ahmedabad. Always one to tinker, he was trying to save farmers the time and effort involved in removing cotton balls one at a time from their shells. His cotton stripper, he felt, did the job quite well and was already selling it when Shristi found him. Oh, Shristi was a student. After the student came, he said, Gyan began by calling in engineering students from one of India's best colleges, the Indian Institute of Technology. The students helped sort out the engineering flaws with Mansuk Bhai's machine. Next came the designers, this time from the country's premier design college, the National Institute of Design, or NID, in Ahmedabad. By this stage, Mansuk Bhai was losing his patience. This workshop loaner hated the idea of anyone meddling with his machine. <laughs> वर्षों मशीन पासल वेड़फी ना किया हुआ है ने पच्चीस संसदन करी हुआ है त्यारे बाहर नहीं कमेंट भी से पता ना अभी प्राय थोड़ो आकर्षण होए अने ना स्वीकारे सजेशन सने आइडिया अने मंसूक भाई ना केस में पन एक बनियो अने पासल थी जारे अने रियलाइज सही के जारे फॉर्मल इनपुट्स अगर चेना होए चे तो ये पोते by 1999, the commercial model of Mansuk Bhai's cotton stripper was ready to hit the market. It had cost Gyan close to 6 lakh rupees or $12,000 to develop the product. Mansuk Bhai decided to set up a factory in 2000 called Chetak Agro to manufacture his cotton stripper. Gyan also helped him raise another six and a half lakh rupees as startup funds. Amrit Bhai too finalized four different models of the bullock cart and called it Aruni. Gyan helped him franchise the final design to three entrepreneurs in five districts of Gujarat. He retains the right to sell the cart elsewhere. I am not growing vegetables. Gujarat na paanch jila ma vegetables. Ima mane kya chudi ma ten lakh ba yek lakh rupee jao. Main tam mare. Mane me amaru jay growing vegetables. Ye bo 
मिनिमम कीमत मंगाई सामान्य कीमत मंगाई Gyan also formed an intellectual property rights cell in 2000 to help innovators get legal recognition for their designs. A grassroots innovator who's applied for a patent, let's say for a coconut harvesting machine, is then assured that if he exhibits that product at an exhibition, then a commercial house comes, likes that product, cannot just copy it. Um, uh, he would then be the commercial house would have to approach him. to either buy that product from him that the patent rights to that product or set up perhaps a joint venture with him to commercialize the product but that patent application assures that the the commercial house cannot just use up that idea so it just uh, helps an innovator um in convert that idea into wealth in 2001 gyan applied for a us patent for mansukh bhai's cotton stripper When the patent was granted in April 2003, Mansukh Bhai could not believe it. नान संस्था ने अपने जो मेरी U.S. के जो पेटन है वो पेटन जो रजिस्टर करवाया और जो मेरे को अप्रैल में जो दिया है तो मेरे को बहुत आनंद हुआ अपने जो जो खुशी हुई है ये खुशी के हिसाब से मैंने तो अभी मेरा कारोबार भी सही चल रहा है कारोबार चलता है इसमें भी मेरे बच्चे सब काम कर रहे हैं अंदर तो इसके बारे में वो मेरे को भी ऐसा लगा कि वो मेरे जैसे कोई इनोवेटर्स है इसको जो पैसा मिले जो ये आगे बढ़ सकता है इसीलिए मैंने एक पच्चीस हजार का डोनेशन जो नान संस्था में सृष्टि में दिया है अमृत भाई टू गेव टू थाउजेंड रुपीज ऑफ फिफ्टी डॉलर टू ज्ञान फॉर ऑल इट्स हेल्प ओवर दर्स ही हेज ऑल्सो बिकम अ फ्लैग बेर फॉर द हनी बी नेटवर्क villagers meet at his house for short sankal or explore linkages meetings where they are introduced to the network's activities for gupta amrud bhai and mansukh bhai's small contributions are the first indicators of things to come the various stakeholders in the honey bee network function as not for profit organizations today expecting no monetary gains from the innovators in the long run this could change But in the long term, what I expect is that the entrepreneurs who would license technologies, these innovative technologies, within India and abroad, possibly will make so much money that they will contribute a part of the profit that they are going to make to make this network viable. Because it is this network which made those opportunities possible for the entrepreneurs. By 1998, Gupta had started to run a six-month campaign with government officials for funds to scale the Honey Bee network up to a national level. It paid off in 2000 when the National Innovation Foundation was set up. It would get a corpus of 20 crore rupees or 4 million dollars from the government's Department of Science and Technology. And I have helped to establish basically to build upon the Honeybee philosophy. The model of scouting, value adding which was going on by through the efforts of Honeybee Networks, Rishti and Gyan in Gujarat. the government of india thought that this example should be replicated all over the country dr marshelkar is one of india's most respected scientists and the director general of the council for scientific and industrial research csir nif has access to csir's 38 laboratories which he believes can help innovators greatly let us see in a village in gujarat you found that there was some herbal formulation which was being used for a particular purpose now it has been actually developed on the basis of empirical observation and empirical evidence what then my laboratories in csr do is to provide a scientific basis for that they do the actual testing you know rigorous testing to validate it so as to say so together then we can create a product which can basically go NIF's national mandate has also helped Anivi to scale up its unique shod yatra or journey of discovery to a pan India level. Once every 6 months, a 50 member team travels on foot from one village to the next in a selected Indian state looking for new innovations. The Hanibi network has come a long way in just 15 years. They have unearthed over 23,000 innovations, ranging from this bicycle-driven insecticide sprayer to this windmill-driven water pulley 